a smooth sphere of mass 2 kg is supported by a chain as shown in figure the length of the chain ab is equal to the radius of the sphere draw free body diagram of each element and find the tension in the chain and reaction of the wall so each element means here the object given is sphere so you have to draw the free body diagram for the sphere and you have to find the tension in the string and the reaction at the wall so first when i want to draw the free body diagram i have to remove all the surface contacts and i have to uh, draw it separately first so now i will draw the roller first or sphere first so this is the sphere the first thing i have to represent is weight so weight acts vertically downwards given mass is given there so first you need to convert that mass into weight so mass is given as 2 kg so if you want to convert that one into weight you have to multiply that one with 9.81 meter per second square so then it will be 19.62 newtons and now we are going to represent the weight so weight is 19.62 newtons right and if you observe the string string can experience only tensile force that means ab can experience only tensile force so here along this string there will be tensile force if you extend that one so that is going to intersect at the center and if you observe this roller this roller is not able to move in left hand side direction why because there is a wall when there is a restriction you have to represent a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface this is the reaction at c so now i am transferring these forces onto plane for our convenience so first i will draw the plane so x axis y axis now first weight so weight acts vertically downwards from this point so this is weight so which is 19.62 newtons and next tensile force s in the string so that is a inclined force so value is not given there so inclination uh, we have to find so if you observe the given figure so it is uh, like this so this is up to the string a b and this is the center this is the point d so if you consider this point as d okay now ye c d in the form of a right angle triangle right you know c d is nothing but radius and uh, the length of ab is given as in the problem itself it, it is mentioned as r right so this is r you know this is r so then total length r plus r will be 2r so if you consider this one as theta so from this cos theta is equal to r by 2r from that cos theta equal to 1 by 2 from that theta equal to 60 degrees so here the angle is 60 degrees so i will draw a line so which is inclined at 60 degrees to horizontal so s is inclined at 60 degrees to horizontal next and there force rc along horizontal direction right so this is rc so here there are three forces and that too the system is under equilibrium so i can apply lamis theorem in order to apply lamis theorem i should find the angle between each and every force this is 60 and this is 90 60 plus 90 total angle is going to be 150 degrees and you know this is 90 degrees so if this is 60 this is going to be 30 and this is 90 so then the complete angle is going to be 120 degrees right so i can apply uh, lamis theorem here so for application of lamis theorem closes the remaining forces are rc and w angle between those two is 90 degrees so s by sin 90 is equal to um r divided by rc divided by close rc and the remaining two forces are s and 19.62 newtons angle between those two is 150 so rc divided by sin 150 
is equal to close 19.62 the angle between other two forces is 120 right so 19.62 divided by sin 120 so if you want to find the value of s equate these two if you want to find the value of rc equate these two so first i would like to find the value of s for that reason so i will equate these two so s divided by sin 90 is equal to 19.62 divided by sin 120 from that s is equal to 19.62 sin 90 divided by sin 120 so when you solve that you will get 22.65 newtons similarly if you want to find the value of rc so consider this relation rc divided by sin 150 is equal to 19.62 divided by sin 120 right from that rc is equal to 19.62 into sin 150 divided by sin 120 so if you simplify that you will get 11.33 newtons hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button and don't forget to subscribe